Hello and welcome back to my turn-based tutorial series and I think for part 50 instead of doing the dialogue um, we did leave the part out on equipping weapons we don't actually add any uh, damages or anything like that so let's go over to our equip weapon function and let's pull off of this weapon and get weapon details and then we're gonna need our player damages and we're gonna set it and we're just gonna split the struck bin and we're gonna set this to something plus something so plus and this weapon details all we're gonna do is break it and we're gonna get this damage and add that damage okay then we need our player damages once again we're gonna get it and we're gonna mm, let's rather not split the struck button let's break it and play attack one we're gonna set like that okay and we're just gonna repeat this for each one okay so duplicate I don't know how many we have it looks like we have a lot so just prepare. Um, I mean, obviously, we're not going to do. Are we only going to do the four? I guess. Yeah, we're going to do the four. Okay. So just our main attacks. Uh, we'll just hide that. Sorry, I do have a bit of a virus. Uh, not player attack. Sorry my head is elsewhere set it like this okay and we're not going to do that we're going to set it this way um, set and we're going to make a player attack um, this way it's going to be a bit smaller on our graph and then we'll hide the unconnected pins oh, I don't think we can, we're just going to click them off manually not a problem ok so now that we've done that, that should add um, the damage of the weapon to our base damage and increase our attack and it should in turn show the new display and everything like that um, we can test this out really quickly let's go to our weapon and let's add a base damage of 0.5 I guess okay so now let's play and yeah, we'll pick it up we'll go to use the equipment and uh, my normal attack I know does 10 so let's have a look see uh, it still does 10 uh, it requires no AP now ok so we have to reset everything uh, manually ok that's fine have to do it manually, we can just do it this way. Uh, I'm just going to re-break this. Uh, we'll plug that in like such. Okay. And then we're just going to plug all these in so they'll still be set. a lot of pins but this is our whole battle system so I guess it should be a lot of pins let's see if this works so we're gonna pick it up we're gonna equip it and we're gonna head into battle and it does 10 damage I don't know why it's displaying as 10 it should do more 
No, it's only doing 10 damage. Hmm. Maybe, perhaps. I should split this spin. And do it this way. I'm only going to test just the first attack. I know it does 10, so I'm just going to keep testing that. I suppose it's good for you guys to see how the debugging goes down. So, oh. Still only doing 10 damage. What the sherbet? Why? Open our battle widget for this one. Okay. Uh, let's see how well we're displaying this. We're using player attack one, which is correct. Of all our player damages. We're not going to use weapon details to say that we're going to use our equipped weapon. Uh, let's see if that works. Oh, my tiny screen. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Great stuff. So that's what we're going to do. No more problems here. Okay, so let's connect all of this up. Dumb move. Anyway, we could probably move this closer and make this go a little bit faster, and oh well. And we just have to redo this for each of our party members, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to do that now on screen, I guess. So what's the point in not doing it? Okay. So let's go to our equip P2 or P1. And we're not going to pull off of there this time. We'll be smart about it and use our equip weapon. get the weapon details or we don't even need to get it we can just simply break it right and then we need our p1 damages we're going to set it and we're going to split it and then we need our P1 damages again. And this one we're gonna hide unconnected pins and just set that one. Drag off and say plus float. And we'll set it to there. And this one will just split again because we are using all of the pins, so we'll do it that way. Set them nice and close to each other. And just duplicate this three times. And plug them in accordingly. Okay. And then plug in the rest of your pins. And if we do it this way, we won't ever have to worry about setting it again, because for each weapon, it gets destroyed and it'll reset, and so on and so forth. And we automatically display our weapons damages, etc., etc. I mean, if you got a, a wand or something that you equipped, you could maybe add the magic damages or 
the amount of mana it uses or something like that. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Anyway, that's for our P1. Let's head over to Equip Weapon P2 and we're going to do the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to get our P2 damages and we'll split the struck pin. Then we're going to get our equipped weapon P2 and we're going to break it. And we'll just hide and take damages on and pull off and say plus. Float plus float. Move the pin to the bottom. And we'll just make three more of these. Move them sort of into place. I'm happy with that. Uh, just plug in your damage. I know I'm doing this in a different order, but it seems a little quicker to me. And then we'll grab our P2 damages and set it. And right here we'll just split the struck pin. Okay. Move that down a little bit. And plug everything in. And then we're done. For now. And then, as I said in the next video, part uh, 51, we will set up a uh, dialogue for our enemies. Uh, and then in the video after that, I guess we'll set up a dialogue for our friends before joining or before fighting. Okay. So, if you guys like these videos, uh, it doesn't cost anything if you want to go to my Patreon page and support me on Patreon just being a follower that'll be cool, I'll leave a description in the link below anyway, this should work now for everything everything should be happy, go lucky all of our attacks and whatnot. so everything's still working and we're doing a lot more damage, that is cool I should be able to kill him with one attack, boom, dead great stuff okay so thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and as i said uh, i'll leave a link to my patreon page in the description below please follow me there as well